Yo, before we start this show, man, rest in peace to Takeoff of the Migos, bro. You know, one of the, one of the great trios in the history of hip hop who lost his life last night, Halloween. Crazy, man. Rest in peace. Let's talk about these sneakers. They are releasing. We got release date on these, man. Uh, look at all the laces. I think I'd go with the black laces. What laces you going with? Let me know in the comments right now. Right now. Leave it in the comments right now. Which laces you going with? But, yeah, we got a release date, March 25th. These should be dropping March 25th. This olive colorway. How we feeling about these? Let me know. How we feeling about these? Don't be shy. This is YouTube. Let's interact with one another. Do we like these? Let me know. I dig them. I think they're dope. I just don't understand why we're not getting any more high top sneakers from Travis lately. I feel like we're getting so many low tops. But I'm definitely, if I get these, I'm going with the black laces. I'm not going with the green shit. Uh, where are we going? We going with black laces? Black laces or are we going to go with uh, the the damn red laces or the, the green laces, the olive laces to be exact? What we doing? We haven't been live in a few days. I told you guys I'm going to stop going live if I can't get the likes up. So, you know, I'm not kidding. Like, we're going to, it's going to slow down a lot. So, please hit that like button. You know I mean? And interact if you enjoy the live shows. Send them donos because I, as much as I love doing this live stuff, it's got to be worth my time. Chappelle, what's up? Billy, what's popping, baby? He says black laces. Haters. Path Wolf, man. Thank you for being a member. Big Fran O, he says favorite ones by, yeah, okay, these are your favorite ones. Caesar, what up? Caesar Dread, salute to the squad. What it do, Delzy? Hit that like button on your way in, man. Yeah, man, real talk. I got to say, those are the best Travis ones. I wish they were highs, though, bro. Like, I really wish they were highs. That's my thing. Like, I'm more of a high top guy. Like, a lot of, if you notice, most of my sneakers, you can see. Or high tops. I'm not the biggest low top guy. I don't even own. I don't own any Jordan One lows. I don't even think. I have in the past, but I've never. Right now, right now, I don't own not one Jordan low. Real talk. Um, I definitely want to go. If I was going to go with another lace besides the black lace, I'm going with the the olive laces. I think the olive laces is the move. The olive, if you're not going to go black. The red, it's too much. This shit looks silly to me. No offense. Stick up for them red laces, man. <laughs> he says, I don't have any lows to... Yeah, Billy. Billy, you on my way. Look, Billy got the damn Jordan 1 highs in his damn avatar. Hit that like button if you haven't yet, please. That's how people get notified. The likes. They, this damn YouTube and algorithm, they count how many likes we get, and then they, they start spreading it like mustard and, and letting people know. Yeah, the, the red laces is too much. It's it's OD, over, overdone with the red lace. It's It, it looked kind of cheesy. It looked corny, right? Look at that shit. I mean, it, it's not, it's, a, it's whack to me, red laces. I'm sorry. Thank you. And shout out to um, Yankee Kicks. These images are provided by Yankee Kicks. So thank you, Yankee Kicks, for providing these images. I mean, you know, at least we have an idea what they look like on feet. Uh, does anyone like low tops more than high tops? Let me know that also in the comments. I'm, I'm very curious to hear your opinions about that. Uh, do we, does anyone prefer them? Curious to know. We've been getting a lot of restocks too lately. A lot of restocks. Uh, matter of fact, there are small sizes available of the taxi, the taxi one still. I'll put a link in the chat. Uh, it won't be in the description box. There'll be a link to, uh, you know, the resale tip if you're looking for them. F them red lace. Yeah, red lace is a whack, Jones. Jones, where the hell you been, bro? Jesus Christ. This guy. Came up. Yeah, red laces is, is OD. Please don't wear those red laces. I don't think anyone's wearing the red laces. I don't think so. <laughs> they look goofy as shit. Black laces is the way to go. 
There's not enough red on there for the red. Yeah, he said. <laughs> listen, listen. I'm not going there with it. I love everyone. I'm neutral. They look good with those with those olive pants, though. I'll tell you that. That's a nice look. There were tons of shoes that released today that restocked. Excuse me, that restocked today. Released today. There's a lot of shoes that re that restocked today. The taxis really uh, restocked. The damn um, Neapolitan Air Jordan 3 restocked. A lot of shit restocked today. And they're restocking every day. Why Why are sneakers restocking so much? What, what is your prediction? Why, why all of a sudden all these damn Jordans are restocking on Nike's site? He says, I like lows. I'll probably wear lows more than highs. Wow. Okay. There we go, RG. Thank you for coming to Caffeine TV. RG, a real supporter, B. You come through to Caffeine TV, bro. My heavy supporters go there when I'm live. And I appreciate it. I'm, tr I'm trying to work, B. I need your support. Okay? So, please, join Caffeine TV. It's free. I'm putting a link in the chat. Help me. Help me. Get to where I need to be. Check out my shows. I say I tell you the the quality is nice on these man. And shout out to the plug and uh, SC, the plug SC. That's who provided this right here. So shout out to the homies over at plug the plug SC. Those are uh, they're over in uh, Myrtle Beach. Shout out to those guys, man. Good people over there. Let's see what the chat got to say. I think it might. Damn, I got to sneeze real quick. <coughs> oh, man. I think it might be a lot of returns are just overstock. See, my whole thing with the return shit that scares the shit out of me are people returning fake shoes, buying the real ones, then buying the replicas, returning the fakes to Nike, and keeping the authentics. Does anyone think that could be the case? That could be something that could be going down. Let me know that in the comments. Let me know that in the chat. Curious to know. Because I think that people that got replicas real probably realize that, yo, Nike don't know how to legit check sneakers. So I could just send the fucking replicas if I hit on sneakers. And they could take those. And I know I got a legit pair I paid retail for. Right? It's kind of a scumbag thing to do. Is it a scumbag thing to do if you do that? If you switch off and send send the replicas to Nike, is that a shitty thing to do? I think it is, but I'm not judging. He says it's definitely possible. Holidays, man. They get in that bread for real, for real. Mm. Well, look, it's November, right? It's November 1st, and you know what that means. We're we about to get, I think, sneaker of the year. I definitely think sneaker of the year. We're, we're about to get these. These are coming, man. These shoes are coming. How excited are you to get these? These nuts. I'm excited to get this shoe, man. Real talk. I got to get two of these. I'm hoping I could get these. No worries, no problem. Till they hit my doorstep, I'm gonna be on like on guard trying to get these shits. I know I've had a few people tell me they got me, but until until I get them in hand, you just never know. Shit happens sometimes. Damn, I haven't been live in like two, three days. Two, three days. It's crazy. I love the receipt on them. He says I'm a double up. Okay. Hit that like button. She blowing you a kiss. <clears throat> Mulberry, what up, man? He says these are going to be a problem. Yeah, they are, brother. I hope no one dies off these shoes. No lie. I have I have a bad feeling about this release. I do have a bad feeling about this release. I think that this is the type of release that's going to put someone in a body bag, bro. I'm not... I'm not trying to be funny either. I'm dead serious. I think that this, that damn release is going to put someone in a body bag. Real talk. I'm not trying to be funny. I'm dead fucking serious right now. 
I mean, if people could get shot and stabbed over cool gray 11s, I think people definitely could get shot and stabbed off of um, some Chicago ones, right? With the vintage packaging and that Krizak all over the leather. Or am I tripping? Chat, talk to me. Keep that chat moving, baby. The chat stops moving, I'm gone. That's how we're doing these shows now live. I need activity in the chat. If I don't see the chat moving, I'm not grooving, and I'm out. These are already a problem. That's what I'm saying, bro. But the resale has dropped tremendously on these. Tremendously, bro. I mean, like, if you look at StockX, they dropped a lot. Um, we'll go look at them right now. Hold on one second. We will look at them right now. And, um, I'll put a link where you can get the shoes. It should be the first link in the chat. And once again, rest in peace to, to take off, man. We got, we, this is a big loss for hip hop. You realize no more Migos now. It's done. Migos is the shit. A new Quavo album would take off if you watch my caffeine TV show, which is like a sneaker chen, sneaker show slash fucking um a damn sneaker show slash uh, uh music uh, radio music channel. I've been playing that shit for the past two weeks. RG knows, RG be on the show. Sean knows he be checking out the show. Salute to you guys. Yeah, I think that takeoff was the best out of the three. Lyric. I think on the new album, he really showed how dope he is. Like, he, I feel like he went above and beyond on the new album. I feel like he really pushed it to the limit as far as his um his rhymes, bro. Um, it's terrible, bro. One of the hottest albums of the year. Uh, and look, it seemed like he was just chilling, bro. He was just. Playing, playing the background, hanging out. Quavo looks like, because I've seen some video, which I wasn't really doing research for, but it's all over my effing timeline. People were filming them arguing. And then the shots rang off. And he was just chilling. You just seen him in the cut, chilling behind Quavo, a little bit of distance. And from a distance, you know? But dude pulled out the hammer and tried and started squeezing and and he hit um he hit Quave he hit um takeoff. He seemed like the most humblest one out of them, you know? Calm, quiet, collective. You know? It's messed up. Really messed up. Look. You go out at 2.30 in the morning at a bowling alley. You're rolling dice at 2.30 in the morning. Shit could go down. Shit could go down in the afternoon if you're rolling dice. And you, you know, this is about money. Heads are drinking, it's 2.30 in the morning. People people get loose with that, man. When it, People are ready to fight. People are ready to squeeze when they have a bunch of drinks. What do they call it? Beer muscles? Bravery, liquid bravery, they call it. Motherfuckers on that liquid bravery. You know? Quavo was talking talking to the wrong people. Clearly, those motherfuckers ain't playing. They ain't playing. You see what happened. And and it, from the video footage I seen, it didn't even look like Takeoff was really, really angry at all. It was just Quavo. Yelling and screaming, yelling and screaming. Oh boy, had enough. Said, I'm gonna shut this motherfucker up. Put some hot lead on this in this motherfucker. And look what happened, man. It's like toy soldiers, bro. Bang. It's sad. It's really sad. Recipes take off, man. Fucked up, man. That guy was killed. That guy killed it so ill on the new album. I bet you he had so much money coming his way. Features. Everyone was about to put him on a feature, bro. It's a damn shame. See, the resale prices on these, it should be on the screen. 
The resale prices on these have dropped tremendously. Remember when these were going for a thousand, fifteen hundred? Look at this shit now. Size nine is five oh three. Size five size ten is um five forty nine. Size eleven five fifty nine. Size twelve five thirty nine. Size thirteen five eighty three. Size fourteen five seventy five. Size so 15,574. You guys think this price is going to go up even more? I don't think so. I think it's good. I think it's going to drop even more, bro. Fat Boy Kicks, what up? He says, yeah, the, the price dropping, but the demand is only climbing. Phone, what's up, brother? Hit that like button, please. We need the likes up. Supposedly a dice game gone bad. Yeah. Yeah, I posted a video on the Dell show at, at 6.30 in the morning. I was up and I seen the shit. I went on TMZ. There was nothing even there. I was like, damn. But, you know, the internet moved faster than the news, right? So young, man. Heartbreaking to hear. Yeah, 28 years old, bro. 28 years old. I think he was the youngest out of the three of them. The question is where the suspect. I bet you they ain't snitching who did it. Quavo and them probably know who did it. Or maybe they don't. Could have been some random people. Yeah, man. Yeah, rest, rest piece of takeoff, bro. That shows you got to be more careful in life and who you associate with. Yeah. But the thing is, when it's late night. See, when I was younger, I never put, when I was 28 years old, I never put that in perspective. <clears throat> so I understand where they're coming from. When I was 28 years old, I would have been doing the same fucking thing. I mean, my, my late 30s now, right? So I know if I'm out at, I'm out at, 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 2.30 in the morning at a fucking bowling alley or wherever the hell they were, public place. I mean, I'm not going to roll dice at 2.30 in the morning in a public place. I'm not going to do that. It's not smart. Unless I'm, unless I'm scheming, which I wouldn't be doing. I'm too old to be doing that kind of shit. You know, where we're, I got a few guys and we're planning on robbing these people. Like, I'm not going to do that, you know? But it's 2.30 in the morning. It's when it, it's grind time, you know? If you ain't getting no ass, then you about to do some crazy shit, usually, right? What the hell are you doing at 2.30 in the morning with a bunch of the homies, right? And you're 28 years old. It's not good, man. Once it hit, once it's 2 p.m., that's when shit starts getting crazy. That's when shit always gets crazy. Keep in mind, we got Super Chat, Cash App, PayPal. If you enjoy the show, send them donos. It's a new month. Let's get it right. Let's get it popping tonight. Says uh, I'm a screenshot the pairs and throw them on the Instagram and they... They pulled my post because they said you copyright infringement. Are you shitting me? I heard Instagram is on some crazy shit. It says a lot, a lot of um, ninjas start shooting and have no aim. I mean, it looked like the guy that pulled pulled out the burner was pretty close to Quavo and didn't get to shoot and 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 shot takeoff instead. You know. Go figure. Liquid courage. Everybody got, yeah, Texas is no joke, right? I think people go to Texas. I think people in Texas got like rifles. They walk into the Walmart with of rifles. Like it's crazy. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't offset. It was takeoff. Did I say take offset? I, if I did, I meant or I meant takeoff. But I'm pretty sure I said takeoff. Maybe I didn't. 
I, I'm going to be honest with you. I've, I've rather shop at StockX than any of these other places. Yeah, we got to do better is right. Not bad, he says. See what the chat saying. I was thinking about placing a bid. Not not sure, though. I think you should wait. I, I think you guys should wait on, on, on going for these. I think that the price is going to drop. Unless you money ain't a thing, then buy it, bro. Shit, money a thing for me, bro. I need money. So I'm not I'm not gonna front like I'm fucking rich. Far from it. I need money. It's definitely gonna drop. I think it's gonna hit the 300 mark. Around 300. And it's gonna lamp around there. Yo, what up, G Fish? What's popping, B? Uh when they shock drop them, they're gonna go down after everyone sells their pairs. It's up from there. Yeah, possibly, possibly, bro. I mean, I don't know, man. The way that this shoe is moving, right, on like sites like StockX, it's reminding me like about it's reminding me of these. These joints right here, it's reminding me of these. Like a lot. It's really reminding me of these. Because these were high at first. They were pretty effing high. And then it just kept dropping and dropping. At one point, it was under. It was like just below three hundred dollars. I think that's as low as it went for these. And these shits are dope. And later on, these shits gonna be worth bread. I'm telling you now. I pr I promise you. Mark my word. Hit the like button if you're walking in here too. G Fish, everyone up in here. Mulberry, hey Sue, hit that like button. It helps the show. Don't please don't ignore me saying that. You notice I haven't been live in two days. As I said, I'm I, I'm not. I'm, I've been asking y'all to help out. It doesn't take a lot to just loop, hit a like button. Don't take a lot to do that. I'm not expecting donations, but I do expect likes. This shit right here is a fire-ass shoe. Some people think it's too much, though, like the look, because it's old Pam Leather. I'm telling you now, that shit's going to be worth some bread later on. Let's see what else the chat got is going on, what they say. Yeah, Quavo is his uncle, yep. They got to ban guns. But but they'll never be able to. They'll never be able to ban them. Yo, what up, doggy? What's popping, man? What's up? My man, Wukup36. That's what I'm hearing too, bro. I'm hearing that too, but there's not confirmation. There's just that text that that leaked. Remember that there was that. Do you did you see the text that leaked from a witness that was there? But if you watch that video, and I'm not gonna play that video because I feel like it's disrespectful. If you watch the video, who who would be shooting in that direction? He was toward the back behind behind Quavo. So if there was an argument going on, it would be someone shooting from the other side, aiming toward Quavo and them. So how could that be even possible, friendly fire? Do you know what I mean? Like, it's like if if look, the camera is you is the shooter facing, right? It looked like the, the shot came this way toward Quavo, but but hit um hit on um, takeoff. Now, I'm no fucking police officer, so, you know, or detective, but when you watch that video, it didn't seem like there was anyone behind takeoff. And it seemed like a lot of takeoff and, and Quavo's crew was beside them. So how the hell did he get hit from friendly fire? That doesn't make any sense. Because you kind of see him drop in the video if you really watch it closely. So, I mean, that that information from that text, I think that's where what you're you're um, using in reference to it all. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how much that makes sense about the friendly fire thing. Um, IG suspended my account for commenting on she's IG. Who's she's? She's IG. What the hell she's? Oh, yay's IG? Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? 
No way. Stop it. Yo, Stretch hit me up, I think yesterday, and he said to me, he said to me, um, what the hell did he say? He said, yo, be careful on IG. They're, they're clapping mad people. He said they clapping mad people. What the fuck are they doing this shit for? Thank you for the dono. First dono of the day. Yes, someone loves Dells. Awesome. Thank you. Feels good when you get these donos. Dells 11 the live. Salute, brother. That means a lot to me. I need to know y'all are enjoying this shit. And you guys are being active. I mean, I don't think it's that much to ask for you guys to be active. I'm live. Talk to me. That we I gotta redo these chats and just, just put some guidelines. Just talk and we're gonna ride out. I don't have co-hosts no more. Jones is too busy, you know, um, and and I don't have a co-host. Stretch once in a while I have, and it's beautiful when I have him, but you know, don't have. I, I'm, I'm you guys are my co-hosts. It's back to back to what it used to be. So I, I need you guys to to rock out with your boy, uh, Fly Ming, my man. Let me hit you with that ultimate Dells. Let's do it. Ultimate compliment. Ultimate Dells time with my dude Fly. Bon bon. Young Jizzle, nigga, y'all know what it is, man. DJ Dells. Peace, man. What's up, y'all? This is Calvin, and right now you're checking out DJ Dells. Stay in tune with him, all right? DJ Dells, absolutely wonderful. What it do, what it does, kids. R.I.P. himself, low so, in case you ain't no so, rocking with DJ Dells. And with it, y'all, it's your boy, Neighborhood Nip. Big shout out to my homeboy, DJ Dells. No question, Neighborhood Nip. Dells, Red, man, I'm in the building. Let's get it. Boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good? I'll tell you what's good. Fly, man. Thank you, Fly, man. Yeah, man. It says, come on, Dells. I wipe my feet before I come to your house. I always press the like button. Thank you, my brother. So I'm talking about. It's so easy to do. I forget sometimes. That's why I like when other YouTubers say, yo, hit the like button. Sometimes people, it bothers them. They're like, yo, could they shut the fuck up with the damn like button? Yo, we got to remind y'all, because I forget sometimes, too. But as soon as I hear it, oh, yeah, you're right. Um, he says, but was that bread ever as high as, as um, $2,000? No. What, what's he talking about? The dice game? Somebody swung when you heard the shots. So you, okay, yeah, but it, the, the video, I'm not going to promote the video, but, I mean, it's the internet. You should be able to find it, you know. I, a matter of fact, TMZ has it on their site. TMZ has it. He says, Dells, let's be honest. I think I think you're more excited about those Voodoo One lows than, uh, than I am most of the releases this month. Not a huge uh, Zion fan, but the designer of the sneaker killed it. You know what, Chris? You're damn what right. I forgot those are releasing this month. You are right, Chris. Those are dope. That's going to be the first low in my collection in a very long time. The, the, um, the art is amazing to it. Uh, matter of fact, let's go to sneakers and see that. Chris, my man, 50 grand, bong bong. That's why I love y'all motherfuckers, man. Y'all y'all pay attention to what the hell I'm saying. I'll be forgetting shit. What's this? Got diamonds or some shit in it? You look like it's all iced out. Nola. It's all iced out on the swoosh. Y'all shit's gonna be dancing, glitter. 
Let's see if those are on here. There they are. Yeah, these are freaking nuts looking. This shit looks crazy. These, these are released on the 8th. Oh, wow. Okay. Shit. One week from the day, basically. Yeah, these are wacky. And I like how they're mismatched, but they at the same time, they got the same color on the toe. I hate when shit is too mismatched where it's like two different shoes you're wearing. Like, there's nothing that's the same on the shoe. I appreciate that the tongue is the same and the toe is the same. So you're not looking like a complete effing idiot. Like, you know, because, look, I go out, people ain't sneakerheads, right? That's kind of the reason why I'm still on YouTube. I'm going to be honest with you guys. People think I'm fucking weird. And I think some of you will relate to this. Do people in your life think that you're strange, that you're so into sneakers? You're into footwear as much as we are. I, I, I think so, a lot of you could relate to this. You ever, you ever, you have friends, family members in your life that you, you know when you leave that door, they're probably talking. Yeah, that's the weirdo that got all the fucking sneakers, right? <laughs> I love this shit, though. Yeah, these are badass. And when you flip them over, it has some kind of um, thing going on. But these are dope, bro. These are really dope. I like these a lot. Very cool. They're very expensive, though. They're $170, but they look like they've, they're made with love. They look like they've been made with love. And, and I can appreciate that. You know, a lot of times sneakers aren't made with love. They made with they you can tell they're not made with love. This shit looks like it was made with love. Right? Shout out to Caesar Dredd who sent me a cash app just now. Thank you. Ow! My cat's just biting my leg. Let's see. Let's hit this promo right here. Let's do it, man. Shout out to Caesar Dread, my man. The sneaker game fucking trash, yo. Motherfuckers want you to write a goddamn essay. Goddamn chew gum. Rub your stomach. Rub the top of your head. Do 50 push-ups. Let me crease the shoe for you. You can't walk out the store with a box. I got to fuck the box up. For some lame-ass motherfuckers that don't even know who. The sneaker game fucking trash, yo. Motherfuckers want you to write a goddamn essay. Goddamn chew gum, rub your stomach, rub the top of your head, do 50 push ups. Let me crease the shoe for you. You can't walk out the store with a box. I gotta fuck the box up. What's some lame ass motherfuckers that don't even know who? Boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good is Caesar Dread and also happy birthday to Mason Kaiser if he's watching. Happy birthday to Mason Kaiser, man. Good lord, that's awesome. Now, Mason wants the battle on the 4th, and he should have Bobby the Brain. I need someone to battle Mason Kaiser on Friday. Um, please contact me if you're willing to battle. You know, sometimes we have guys that have their, their sneaker collections a little overwhelming. Mason Kaiser got a pretty decent collection. But it's I don't think it's like Polar Bear's collection, where you're like, you know, a little fucking nervous to battle a guy like that, right? Or Golden Chap. Golden Boy, excuse me, or Stretch Kicks. So if you got a good amount of shoes, 20, 30 pairs, you want to battle Mason Kaiser for shits and giggles for fun, because that's why we do these, no matter if the collection is worth five freaking million dollars or five thousand dollars. All you need is a phone. Hit me up. Let's do it. All right. Perfect time for you to, to, to stream, feature some of your collection. Yeah, the promos are great. Says uh the Zion signature voodoo shoes are or better. Yeah, you know what? The signature shoe does look nice. It definitely does. It really does. What's up, dude? Let's see what's going on here. Says I think they're doing it because um they can and these liberal D A A's are just letting criminals go so the criminals are like, F it, can get away with murder, literally. I don't really understand what you mean, Chris. I apologize. I think they could do it. I don't know exactly. Are you talking about the Quavo situation? Um, he says, I saw the text with the whole situation is crazy. Yeah, I mean, look. 
it, you know what's what's wild? I heard that um what's up, home man? What's up? What's up, everyone in here? What up, Manny? Hit the like button. Everyone hit that like button as you walk in. I heard it was Jay Prince's birthday too, um, on Halloween. You imagine losing a family member that you have got platinum albums with that you've traveled all over the world with and then seeing them die on Halloween. You know what the ill thing is in that video, there's some girl holding a Chucky doll too. Or a guy. You got like Chucky, like a life-size Chucky he's holding. It's like, God damn, man. It's messed up, man. It's messed up. Look, rappers, regular people, rolling dice at 2.30 in the morning on Halloween is not a good idea, all right? Halloween's a, some devilish shit to begin with. Let's be real, right? So you're out there on, on, a, on a damn Halloween night at 2.30 in the morning, dogging it out, right? It's not a good good idea. Much love, Billy. Much love. Yeah, R.I.P. to take off, man. It's not a good idea, man. You know, when you when you're that successful, it's time to go home, or it's time to get some chicks and fucking just chill at the chill at your damn hotel, bro, or the or the the mansion or the whatever you're renting out, right? What the hell you want to hang out with a bunch of dudes for rolling dice and all that shit? What the hell you want to be doing that? If I was as rich as those guys, I would always have women around me at 2.30 in the morning. Always. I mean, they got money. When you got money like that, there's always women around. I mean, shit, they can make a call and get women over, right? I mean, a lot of, let's be real. A lot of these celebrities are just calling escorts i'm sure and all that type of shit too right you got money like that what the fuck you're not looking for nothing serious so i mean it's like what i don't understand like what what they doing like hanging out like that that late i don't understand that shit at all kind of makes no sense to me it makes zero sense to me He says, man, I just seen the video, Quavo invest, um, instigating the shit, dumbass for real. Got his nephew killed, rest in peace. He didn't deserve that. That's what a lot of people are saying. They blame him in Quavo, bro. But the thing is, right, I understand your take. I do understand your take, K-Dub, right? It's tough, bro. It's a tough call, right? It's a tough call to make. Like, I see your take 100%, man, because when I seen the video, I was kind of like, man, this guy just started spazzing. And then you see his his cousin, his, his what is his, his, what, how are they related? Nephew. You see him in the cut, and then he gets clipped, right? But it's like, he was out there too, right? He's a grown ass man. Take off. So can you? Is it really fair to blame Quavo? Take off could have been like, "Yo, I'm going home, man. I had enough for you, little motherfucker. <laughs> I'm going home, right?" You know, I think that he he bigger than the other guys, or maybe not. Maybe they're all all around the same height. I don't think they're very tall guys. Because I remember when the Jay Bud Joe Bunnins podcast shit with um DJ Ap Academics, and they were sitting on the couch. Remember that ep epic fucking situation that happened? 
They seem so small, those guys, right? But it's like, at the end of the day, like, it's 2.30 in the morning. You out there rolling dice on Halloween. Bad things happen, man, in dice games. Bad things happen in dice games. He says, don't point your finger until we know the real story. We don't want to, we don't know exactly what happened. No, no doubt. But in the video, I understand what K Dub is saying. Because in the video, you hear a lot of Quavo talking, and then there's that text message thing that leaked on the internet. And the text message is, I think, from a witness. And he was saying basically Quavo was just wilding out. And um, then, you know, the, what happened happened, right? He was pissed off. He kept losing money, rolling dice. So he was all up in his feelings, feeling some sort of way. But then when you, so you read the text and then you see the video. So people, a lot of people like K-Dub, I, I, or you could, you could hear, exactly. He said you could hear Quavo Wallet, you know? But look, it's 2.30 in the morning. People are drinking. People are rolling dice. As I said, 2.30 in the morning, crazy shit happens, bro. Crazy things happen at 2.30 in the morning with a group of people, different crews, public scenery. Things happen, man. You know what someone was saying before about Texas, man. They be carrying like a motherfucker out there, boy. Yeah, I think you're right. Someone did say, like, to calm down. They were trying to, like, because I watched the video a couple of times just because I was like, what exactly, wh why did this happen, you know? Like, I don't understand. But the text message was explaining that Quavo was really in his feelings about losing bread, right? He says he's looking at the footage. Um, it is what you see. He says, loud talking, when you out of bound, you get clipped. Stay cautious, man. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely got, you see, that's the thing, man. You guilty by association. You out there, it's 2.30 in the morning. Uh, a bullet has no name, you know? You hear that saying, a bullet has no name. It's 2.30 morning, everyone's drunk. If you see me at 2.30 in the morning, unless I'm working and I got to check, I'm I'm not, I'm nice. I'm feeling good. There's no way you're going to catch me 2.30 in the morning out chilling with the homies and not nice. It's not happening. Because I'm not going to be sober at 2.30 in the morning hanging out with a bunch of friends rolling dice. I'm, I'm clearly hammered. And I'm sure everyone there was hammered. Right? Who's up at 2.30 in the morning, just sober and chilling out, rolling dice? No. No one's, no one's sober doing that shit. Heads are tanked. <laughs> or, or no. Y'all going out at 2.30. You are up at 2.30, 3 in the morning on Halloween night, mind you. Sober as can be. It was a lot. It was a lot. It wasn't a couple of shots. It sounded like it was let, trying to squeeze out that whole clip, bro. Yeah, it's this younger generation. But look, the thing is, it's like art imitates life. What is it called? Art imitates um, life? Life imitates art or some shit like that? Like, you got all this money, man. Why are you playing gangster at 2.30 in the morning, man? Go the fuck home. You know, you ain't working. You ain't doing no show. As I said, these guys got money. They probably could have, they probably are staying somewhere really nice. They could have called up someone to, to bring over the girls. Right? Yeah. At 2.30 in the morning, we bent, bro. We, 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 we are nice. I'm not just chilling at 2.30 in the morning. I'm on some other shit at 2.30 in the morning. You see me at 2.30 in the morning, you're going to know that I'm on some, my mind is not, not right at 2.30 in the morning. 
I promise you my mind ain't right at 2.30 in the morning. But as you get older, you realize, listen, my mind ain't right at this time. I need to be somewhere where I'm kind of contained, right? So, you know, that was a big mistake with Quavo and them. Quavo was probably drinking and talking shit. People talk shit when they're rolling dice. We used to roll dice all the time. So we did, especially in high school. And in my, in my 20s, we always rolled dice. We would play CeeLo. Fucking, in high school, I fucking, I, I damn well won an award. King in the back parking lot. Because I was always in the back parking lot smoking and, and, and rolling dice. We used to have a hustle, too, back in the days. I used to have this dude. He was one of the fucking biggest dudes in the football team. He was a senior when I was a freshman. We played partners. What, what that means is... Me and him, motherfuckers didn't know that we were working together, right? So we go roll dice with everyone in the back park when we cut school cut class or during lunch period. We're in lunch, we go. There's a little pathway, right, where they do the running shit. I forgot what it's called. Where you run and then you jump into the sand. You used to roll dice. He was like in the back park line and then you cut a little bit. So we roll dice over there. If I win, he won. If he won, I won. No one expected us to be working together. We count each other's pockets the whole game, the whole period. So if I won, bang, he'd be counting my pockets. If, I, if he, it's vice versa, right? This dude caught on to it one day. I mean, we would meet in the bathroom the next period, and then we would just split the money down the middle, and we'd kill it. We'd make money because people are throwing five dollar rolls, ten dollar rolls. We start, you start one dollar roll, then two dollar roll, three dollar roll. Before you know a five dollar roll, ten dollar roll, twenty dollar roll. People start getting brave, you know. Bang, we 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 take everyone's money. We're emptying everyone's fucking pockets, right? And then we one day this dude, right? He found out that I freaking that we had this scam going on. Took all of his money. This motherfucker kicked me in the stomach. This motherfucker do karate and shit. Keep in mind, this is the 90s. Motherfuckers were going and doing karate and shit like that. Motherfucker gave me a fucking kick right to my stomach. I couldn't breathe. I was like, Ugh. I was a freshman. The dude's a senior that kicked me. But he got it, he got handled as soon as he kicked me. But he was pissed off. And he didn't mess with the other dude, because the other dude was like, it's like 250, 300 pound dude, man. Big motherfucker. But he took his anger on me, he just kicked me right in the stomach, man. I'll never forget that shit. And then our and then our cover was blown. But yeah, like I used to love rolling dice back in the days, man. Those were the days. But yeah, man, 2:30 in the morning. None good's going on at 2:30 in the morning. He said you could lose a lot of money, have a um dispute and open up, especially. If you up at two, <laughs> dude, two thirty in the morning, man. People's minds ain't right. Just think Quavo, right? Quavo was out. Everyone's saying Quavo was a little extra, right? He was real loud and shit. It's real coming, really coming at dude, real aggressive. He was probably boozing, bro. And then you boot, you you got a ton of people out that are all fucked up, that don't know each other. And then Quavo out here talking that talk, and then you have other guy, uh, the other crew, that's probably like, look at this motherfucker for thinking he's Billy Badass, man. You know? And then someone was saying in the chat that it looked like someone swang at the, at someone from Quavo's crew, or Quavo swang at him. If that's the case, then that's how it goes down nowadays, man. People don't want to fight no more. People are shooting now. There's no such thing as fighting no, no more. No one's doing it. No one's doing the uh, going one on one and scrapping, shooting the fair one. No one's doing that shit no more. Since when you go, when, when do you see people fighting, like actually fighting? That shit hasn't. That shit don't happen no more. That's what, and that's what I'm saying. Like dice games getting shot up is nothing new. Like sometimes people, sometimes people just rob like rob these games they 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 go with people rolling dice and, and they'll just shoot the place up and take all the money 
you know? It, it happens. But I don't think that was the case with this. I think it's just people were talking that talk with the wrong people. You know? So, I mean, that's just what it is at the end of the day. Yeah, people aren't fight. People aren't people aren't fist fighting. You want to take it outside? And think about this. Even if you want to fist fight, what's the probability of the person that that you're going to fight that's they're going to shoot you? What's the probability of the person that you fight is going to shoot you? You know? So it's like if RG gets in an argument with Caesar, right? If one of these guys is like, yo, let's go outside and shoot the fair one, what's the probability that one of these guys is going to pull out a burner? Not saying these guys particularly, but I'm just using them as an example. There's a pretty big possibility someone's trapped and we're going to pull something out. And people can't, and people can't take an ass kicking no more because they feel like that's going to take away from them. If they if they get the ass kicked, physically get beat up. See, back in the day, you get your ass kicked, you live and you learn, and it toughens you up. And then you go back and you fight again. You keep fighting until you win. Not that same fight, you come back, right? But now it's different, big. No no one, no one, if someone has a pistol. Most people, if they're getting their ass kicked, they're going to go for the pistol. They're not just going to say, all right, I had enough. I'm, I'm done. I'm done. I'm throwing in the towel while your fucking jaws hanging off your face and your eyes fucking like Rocky, right? It's not like back in the days, bro. Now, God forbid you lose a fist fight. Your whole image is ruined, right? You know, he says, yeah, I learned not to fight no more. You're a smart man. I mean, it's not worth it. Look, what what is fighting even solve? And that comes with age too, K-Dub, and maturity. You fight, you risk getting in trouble. See, freedom is everything. That's what I care about, freedom. I'm not trying to go to jail. That's my whole thing. You know? But when people are drinking, people are smoking, people are popping, people ain't thinking. You hear these rap songs now, what they rapping about? It's not just violence. They're taking hard drugs. They're doing all types of crazy shit. It's, you know? People, people are on some other shit, like literally. It's dangerous out there. Hit that like button, guys, if you haven't yet, please. We're going to get out of here top of the hour. I got about five minutes left. Y'all want to keep rocking. You know what to do. You damn well know what to do. But I think this was a damn good show. Damn good show. Yeah, I wanted to go live today, just talk about that release date. So these will dunks will be this Air Force One color of the month, like a UNC color, and then they got these dunk low SBs. Why so sad? They got this Cinnabar women's dunk, black Air Force One, right in time. It's getting cold out. Stick up kids, they ready. They got this Bruin high. Why so sad? Then they've got the Zion. The Zion's going to sell out very quick. Then they got the Fruity Pebbles, which is finally releasing. The LeBron Fruity Pebbles dunk, which is pretty nice. Kind of reminds me of a Simpsons dunk. Kind of looks like the Simpsons of them. They got this weird-ass sneaker on the left. Then they got a Halloween sneaker that's releasing on the 8th, which makes a lot of fucking sense, being that Halloween was yesterday. 
Thank you for the dono, man. I appreciate that, man. Much love, brother. Let me hit a promo real quick. Let's do it, man. Shout out to Wayfaring Stranger. Appreciate you, man, for the super sticker. Keep them coming. Let's rock. DJ Dell, you know I love you. Love you. Hey, yo, Playboy, love you. watch who you stepping. Watch who you stepping. You see what I got on, fam? Styles. Check. Uh. Shitting on niggas with the shoes My whole flock is fly Peep the bird's eye views From the checks to balances Flex the EA's punish Release calendars Big banks, no silences Delzy on your news feed Problems we solve them on Fridays With more kicks than Bruce Lee Switching up speeds Riding the Fuji in the movie And you have three spraying the AR-15 On Hollywood posters Score like the Riddick Chronicles Leaving niggas stretched off white Like Virgil Ablo shoes these dope boy classics on my feet make it look like I got more samples than Ron G. Join three cement sculptures. Wave runners got it off the coaster. Hawaii Ram and Grams of the fish scale to Norfolk. And I ain't no saint if a nigga walk up. I put in pain. Blow a circle in your back like an organ. Phone posit. I keep my sweetness in union with my thought process. It's all concepts. At most we take an L, but that's money saved. Call the W on Grails, double up the pay. Put a win a different kick every other day One by the door and the other one tucked away Bees like that sometimes, that's what my brother say And yeah, I'm an addict for sneakers, you gotta love a J <laughs> EG Bells Ooh, baby, you rock my bells Well, pals <laughs> The sneaker game fucking trash, yo Motherfuckers want you to write a goddamn essay Goddamn chew gum, rub your stomach, rub the top of your head do 50 push-ups. Let me crease the shoe for you. You can't walk out the store with a box. I got to fuck the box up. What's some lame? Boom, boom, boom. What's good? What's good is wayfaring stranger. Thank you, bro. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate the donut. I read that the lost and founds make shot drop on sneakers this week. That would be amazing if one of us hit. I want them shits, man. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. Damn good show, Gold Miss. What up, man? What's popping, bro? What's popping? He says, yeah, I learned not to fight anymore. Yeah, it's as you get older, man. And yeah, that's right. You ain't coming back from that, brother. Yeah, you can't come back from that. So, like, you know, like you gotta weigh out, weigh out what you're doing in life, right? If you're out at 2.30 in the morning rolling dice, you know, not the best idea to think that you're in a safe environment. <laughs> and I tell you, man, if I got all that money that they got, that's the last thing. I, my balls are being licked at 2.30 in the morning. I'm telling you that now. That shit could be the intro to your, the, be your intro music. What? What you talking about? I mean, Jesus, right? Like, can you imagine having all that kind of money, guys, and you out rolling dice at 2.30 in the morning? That shit don't sound like fun to me, man. The fuck you rolling dice for? You got a good job, man. I understand. It's fun, though. It's fun rolling dice, talking shit. I enjoy it. I enjoy that. Little shit talking. You know, but at the same time, what the hell are you doing? Yeah, by yeah, by Cuban chick, you shit, freaky one. I don't understand this. Like, what are we doing at two thirty in the morning? How much money are they worth? Alexa, how much money is takeoff worth? Worth? Jesus, I can't even speak. From bestsportster.com. His net worth is currently estimated at $18 million, but if that cruise turns out to be a big hit, we could see that number skyrocket. Oh, no, you're talking about some other shit. Echo, how much are the Migos worth? Alexa, how much are Migos worth? Offset is worth an estimated $26 million U.S. dollars. All right, so they said Offset is worth $26 million. So it's safe to say that the other ones, Quavo's probably worth more money, right? Because he does a lot more shit, right?
26. So let's just say he's worth fucking $10 million. He said $80 million. What up, Gabriel Kicks? What's popping, bro? So, so let's just say he's worth that much money, guys. What the hell are you doing? What in God's name are you doing rolling dice at 2.30 in a effort morning? You worth $80 million, $20 million. Shit, you worth $2 million. I'm fucking, if I'm worth, if I'm worth fucking like a little under a million dollars, I'm still not going to be rolling dice at 2.30 in the morning. I used to love rolling dice. I'm not doing that shit, bro. I'm not doing that. He said easily $50 million. $50 million you have rolling dice on Halloween at 2.30 in the morning? God damn, man. Y'all got your shit fucked up, bro. I'm not trying to be insensitive, but come on, man. We got to do better. What the fuck are we doing rolling dice when you work that much money? I used to roll dice because I was broke. So I'm like, yo, I'm going to turn this fucking $20 to $150. You know? If I'm worth $80 million, $50 million, the last thing I'm effing doing is rolling dice at 2.30 or more with a bunch of dudes and some thoughts running around around me. Or good, they may be good girls. Who knows? Whatever the case may be, it's 2.30 in the morning and you're worth millions of dollars and you're rolling dice with people you clearly don't know. Or say, would it be shooting you? Well, that's not the case. I'm sure there's people I know that, you know, or you know that would love to see you not on this planet anymore. Which is sad, but true, right? Gabriel Kicks, you worth that much money. I would, I swear, there's no way in hell Gabriel Kicks is going to be rolling dice at 2.30 in the morning. Old habits never die, Delzy. Dude. That shit's dumb, bro. I mean, rappers like rolling dice, though. Remember the hard knock life? I know I'm showing my age. You ever see the movie? You seen DMX and them rolling dice in the, but they were in the back of a damn stage against people they knew. They were backstage rolling dice. They're not a fucking bowling alley lobby. Or whatever the hell they were. This shit makes no sense to me, man. Makes absolutely no sense. God damn. Oh. He says Quack's ego cost Quack's ego cost takeoff's life in less than 40 seconds. Yeah, it looks like he died well instantly. I'm in Long Island, New York, and I'm never going back to my old hood in East um, New York and Brooklyn. Of course not. Why? Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, what are we doing, bro? Yeah, the, the the um it was rented for a birthday party, I heard. Some that's what I heard. It was a birthday party or something. But I'm just saying still, look. It was rented for a birthday party. But what the fuck are you doing at 2 30 morning rolling dice? If you worked that kind of money. What time the birthday party started? I just don't, I don't get it, guys. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm just not hip to this shit. Maybe I'm not cool enough. Maybe if I'm worth $50 million, I'm going to still be rolling dice out there. Now, I'm not worth that kind of money. I will roll dice. You want to roll some dice, hit me up. Holler at me if you see me. You see me, we can roll some dice. You get enough people. It's not just going to be me and you. That's corny. We got to get a bunch of people so we can make money. But shit, what the hell are we doing here, bro? Worth all that money. The thing is, people get too comfortable and cozy. Since started at nine, the party. Shit, I'm worth that money. I'm out at I'm out at two o'clock. The latest. I'm out at two. I'm out. 
I'm not going to bed, but I'm leaving there with some chicks and some of the some of my friends. We're going somewhere. Like I'm not trying to be in public like that. That's the whole thing. Like, what? Why would I want to hang out in public and roll dice? At, like, I don't understand that shit, bro. Oh, I see. So you're saying that that they that they felt cozy because of who they were rolling with. Yeah, because don't they rock with Jay Prince and them guys too? Um, Quavo and them? Don't they fuck with Jay Prince and them? I think it was Jay Prince's birthday on Halloween, matter of fact. Someone was saying that that may have been what that party was all about. Jay Prince's birthday. So they, they had them guys as kind of like protectors, security almost like. All right. So I've heard a lot of mixed things. I'm not saying everything that I've heard. I'm letting you guys. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All I know is it's tragic, man. It's really tragic. But Quavo was being disrespectful because he was losing someone in the video. He even said um, they they weren't um, going to tolerate disrespect. Mm. So was he disrespecting those guys? Huh. That may have been the problem. Whoever was disrespectful was the wrong guys, clearly, right? They were like, yo, this Hollywood-ass motherfucker talking too crazy. This motherfucker need to shut up. He wouldn't shut up, so. I mean, I don't know, man. I mean, the, the video is so short, and you, we don't know who what's going on, you know? I'm sure we'll hear more. You know, everyone loves to sing now and tell everything, you know? That, 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 at situations like this. Hmm. Look at these shoes. These shoes look old. Shit, these Air Force Ones. Look like they were found. This shit looks like lost and found. This Air Force One in green? Damn. Damn, son. Where did you find that? I've seen these fucking, uh, these boots. These uh, Jordan 9 boots. Kind of weird. Kind of fucking weird. These Air, these, um, Air Jordan 11s, nah. Not happening. Then they got this Jordan 12 golf shoe. It looks kind of, I don't actually mind these shits. It's inspired by him wearing, him loving golf, I guess. Grass on the bottom. It's kind of cool. I'm actually, and it, look, it got the, the dirt and the grass. Not bad. Not bad. Hit that like button. Show that love, guys. You want to keep rocking, please. Do last call for donos. Then they got the Houston Air Force One. Shit. <sighs> Houston ain't fucking around. Isn't that where Benny the Butcher got shot a few months ago, too, at the Walmart in Houston? I could have swore he got shot in Houston. Yeah, who Houston ain't fucking around, bro? You go to Houston, you better, you better behave. Or I mean, I don't even think Benny the Butcher was out of was doing anything out of pocket. I think he was just they just caught him out there, like which is crazy. And thank God Benny the Butcher's still alive and really enjoy his music. Shit. Plus, he's a fucking human being too. We don't want to hear about anyone getting killed, right? Shit. That's it. That's all she wrote. We got these Jordan um, Eastside golf shoes. So these are not golf sneakers, but it's inspired by golf. Look at that in the back. 
You got Michael Jordan with a fucking holding a damn golf club and shit. Jesus Christ. What's he doing? Is he, what's he, what the fuck is that shit called again? Them young fuckers we's doing. I think my children used to do that shit. Dabbing? Is he dabbing with a golf club or some shit? You find out Michael Jordan dabbing with a golf club. God damn. Yeah, it was in Houston. He says, I'm in Houston. Yeah, we lose in three, you know. Jesus Christ. Yeah, he says, Houston's losing to the Phillies. What up, Soul Mind? Hit that like button. Or at least hit the thumbs down button, you prick. Yeah, look at Michael Jordan dabbing and shit. The fuck is... What are they doing, man? Like, what the hell are we doing here? I get so confused with what, what the hell... What is the end game of doing all this shit? Like, what, what, are, they, what are they trying to accomplish here? Now they got the jump. First they got a jump man. Now they got the, what are we calling this? Uh, the golf man. And we were wearing the, the dookie chain. Is that supposed to even be Michael Jordan? Michael Jordan ain't wearing no fucking dookie gold chain like that. Oh, and that's what they look like. Wow, that's interesting. They have like an on foot look. Pretty shitty on foot, but I mean, it, this is a horrible photo. What are we doing here? That's a better photo. The quality of the upper looks nice, but I'm just very confused about what is going on with this Michael Jordan photo. So it's not, is this supposed to be Michael Jordan or is this supposed to be just some random guy with a big fucking chain on his neck swinging to the side while he's golfing? Because that's what golfers are wearing, right? Big fucking chains, right? When you go to the golf place, golf fields, what, what, I'm, I don't golf. You got to be rich to golf. I'm not rich. Shit. What the, what, it, what, it, what golf place got a guy with a gold ass chain swinging to the side? So that's not Michael Jordan, clearly. Because I, I can't see my, I don't think Michael Jordan is out here with big chains, right? So who is this guy supposed to be? Is he just some random guy? Who the, who the hell is this guy? They should have put golf or put Barkley on it. Like, but I'm saying, like, like who who the fuck is this guy that's on these damn Jordans with a chain swinging to the side and and golf, about to hit the golf club like Happy Gilmore? Who is this guy? He got chains bigger than rappers. Like, who, who's going to the golf range with a baggy-ass fucking sweatshirt and some jeans and a big-ass gold chain? I don't understand this. Let me read the details. Out of the clay into the future, partnering with Eastside Golf. What is Eastside Golf? Is Eastside Golf like all thugged out and shit where, where golfers are going out there wearing crew neck sweatshirts and, and baggy and jeans and a fucking pair of sneakers and a gold chain. Let me look up East Side Golf real quick. I'm just going to go East Side Golf and look at images. Oh, okay, so this is East Side Golf. Okay, now this is making sense. Okay, this is making a little bit of sense here. Let's Let me show you. So this is images for Eastside Golf. Okay, so here's this guy right here. He's not wearing a chain, no, but he's wearing the, the effing um, sweatshirt with the chain swinging to the side playing golf. Okay, let me see if any of these gentlemen have a chain on. No. Motherfuckers are not wearing no gold chain playing golf, bro. The, the big ass chain like that. That shit going to hit you in the face, bro. You're going to hurt yourself. You're seriously, you may injure yourself playing golf. It's just their logo, I guess. Eastside Golf's logo. <laughs> and then these are some fours. Which is basically the effing 
uh, Midnight Navy cements with gold hits on them, okay? I mean, I'm not, I like the outfit what he's wearing, but I'm just saying, like, my man got a crazy chain on, like, looking like, like, a, like a damn, like, some shit fabulous in them wearing, man. Jada Kiss in them wearing, some big ass chains. No one wearing that shit to play golf, swing a golf club. Look, there's Michael Jordan right there. He ain't wearing that no shit like that. Isn't that my name, Michael Jordan? Jesus Christ. No, Michael Jordan's on the shirt. East side golf. See, I thought that was Michael Jordan. It's just a logo to this company, East side golf. I see. All right. I mean, shit, it don't look bad. The clothing ain't looking bad. I just don't understand what the what's up with the chain. No one's wearing gold chains. Dude, a lot of people love playing golf, bro. Golf is a very, very popular uh, sport, right? I've never played golf. I'm cheap. I heard it costs a lot of money to play golf. I'm not paying man money to fucking hit a ball over a field and walk and walk and walk just to hit a... I'm probably going to have to walk so much because I'm going to suck at fucking hitting the ball. I used to do the, the range, though. I had, I had a friend in high school that worked that he managed the range. You know, the shits where you just hit the ball. Used to go there on little dates. When I was like in, you know, late, late teenage years, early 20s, bring a little bottle of fucking liquor or something, fucking hit the ball with the, with the, with a girl and shit and just have fun, laugh and be all cute and shit, you know? <laughs> oh, man. God damn. Hope y'all enjoying this show. Damn good show. We had an hour and 17 minutes. We about to get up out of here, I think. I hope you guys enjoyed this broadcast. Follow the Twitter at DJ Dells, Instagram DJ Dells. Last call for donos. You want to keep it rocking? We'll keep it rocking. We got other shit to talk about, but send a donor. Um, but yeah, man, I think we're gonna end this. Um, rest in peace to Quavo, man. Once again, I mean not Quavo. Rest in peace to fucking take off. I'm, it's been a long day, bro. Take off. Rest in peace, brother. Real talk. What a fucking sad story. Um, as far as these shoes, I put a poll up. Let's see what the poll got to say on these. Crazy, I was looking on eBay, the takeoff Funko Pops going for over $100 now. That shit wasn't going for shit before he died. Nobody till somebody kills you, right? That's what Biggie Small said. Now everyone wants to take off Funko Pop. So if you got your got, got a, a takeoff Funko Pop, it's worth a little bit of money now. It's probably worth about $150. I have one. I bought them as soon as they came out because, as I said, I'm a fan of those guys. 56 votes, Travis Scott, Air Jordan, Olive One, reselling these hoes, 30%. Pass, all you, 18%. I need these for the toe, biatch, 53%. So 53% wants to wear these things, and 29% um, says reselling these hoes, 17% says pass. So that's the poll right there. Jesus Christ. They're nice shoes. Did anyone pick up these Halloween sneakers, by the way? They're interesting. Check out the video of me selling the damn Yeezys, too, the Red Octobers. I'll give you a little sneak peek. Here we go, selling my Kanye West rare Red October Yeezy 2s. He's Oh, really? Yeah. Smell good. Um, yeah, no, everything checks out. Mine are nowhere near this clean. 
Yeah, there are a lot of them. The Watch that video. It was really good. It's from like four days ago, five days ago. So check out that video. Um, and I, I, I got these too, by the way. I like these. I, I ordered a pair on sneakers. I actually hit on them. So I'll be getting those soon. Someone said it was inspired by a Birkin bag. I mean, I don't do handbags. I'm, I'm, I'm not one of them guys that walk around with a bag like Jones does. <laughs> so it is what it is, man. Guys, have a great night. Thank you, guys. And I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Please send me some inspiration. If there's anything you guys want me to talk about, just publicly tweet me. Or go to my Instagram and leave comments on my video, on my posts. Okay? Have a great night. Be careful out there, guys. If you don't got to be out at 2.30 in the morning, don't be out at 2.30 in the morning. Go the fuck home. All right? Go home. Real talk. There's none good at 2.30 in the morning, bro. And if there is, it's not in the public area. All right? It's at someone's home, whether it's yours or someone else's. Trust me, it's not worth it. Recipes take off, man. Love.